You are looking at this morning's implosion of Florida Power and Light's last standing coal powered plant. Mm. The chimney and coal conveyors crumbled to the ground less than 10 seconds, Shannon. This ends an era of ends an era of coal powered energy in Florida. I know it's a sign of progress, but it's been there so long, <laughs> yeah. right? WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts shows us what's coming next. It took years to build and only seconds to come down. FPL demolishing its last remaining coal plant in the state in Indian Town, which sat unused for two years, now making way for cleaner, more affordable energy. We just announced today we're actually putting in a brand new solar facility just on the other side of these trees. It's going to be 300,000 plus panels that'll generate enough electricity for another 15,000 homes. FPL CEO Eric Salaji says the old oil and coal plants were more expensive to operate and produced harmful emissions. You know, so this means lower bills and a cleaner emissions profile. It will take more than a year to completely clear the site, but that won't slow their progress with construction and permit on the solar field beginning right away. About $100 million. So it's a it's a material investment here in Morton County. FPL recently gave WPTV an exclusive look at their Fort Pierce solar field, which is similar to what will be built in Indian Town. It also utilizes a drone that routinely checks the panels for maintenance issues, meaning the most power is always being produced and any issues are more quickly found. It really is to reduce the operational cost of each site. Um, and in doing so, we're also able to keep our customer bills as low as possible. But you won't notice an immediate change to your power bills. In fact, FPL is proposing an annual rate increase over the next four years of an average of 3.4%, which will help cover these large projects. But rates, according to FPL, will remain under the national average. And solar power will cut fuel charges off of your bill and in the long run, reduce energy costs. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.